Newt Gingrich, former House Speaker, is on our uh, Newsmakers line with us today. I-, I don't even know what to say about that, Newt. I mean, you know, if if it works so well, why do we need another one? Well, you know, there's sometimes you deal with people who you know either are so out of touch with reality you can't argue with them, or they are so committed to their particular side that reality doesn't matter. Abraham Lincoln used to say that if you can't establish that 2 plus 2 equals 4, you can't win the argument because facts make no difference. And I think the way you just heard was a person who uh, understands that she has no facts, so she has to make an assertion that even she must know is just uh, clearly out of touch with reality. This whole administration's pitch that somehow the stimulus worked, again, they don't want to use the term stimulus because it is so so vile when attached to their plan. If it works so well, why are we needing another one? Well, here's the, I think, the core challenge of the Obama administration. He He genuinely believes in class warfare and he genuinely believes in bureaucratic socialism. And since neither are working and he won't give up his, his core beliefs. He has to somehow have a new story uh, that explains to all of us that this is all somehow magically working, even if it's failing. And that's frankly part of why you see him losing ground every week, because regular Americans who know how hard the economy is, they know how either they're out of work, they have friends who are out of work, they, they have businesses that, that uh, are struggling. I mean, they're, they're in the real world. They're, they're not protected by the White House and the taxpayer and the Secret Service and Air Force One and Marine One and, you know, $2.5 million buses and all the different things that surround the president. So they're out there in the real world, and they're going, you know, this is really a hard economy. And, and, and I describe it as the Obama Depression because... Uh, he inherited a recession from Bush, and he made it worse. His policies have been consistently wrong. If he had followed Ronald Reagan's policies, and at Newt.org, my, my campaign site, you can see a press release we put out last Friday when the jobs numbers came out. Now, we compare where Reagan was at the same point from the peak of unemployment, which he inherited from Jimmy Carter, and where Obama is from the peak of the unemployment he inherited from George W. Bush. And the difference last by last Friday was... 3,700,000 extra people at work under Reagan. Now, that that's a breathtaking difference uh, between the two presidents, and it's because Reagan followed policies of encouraging free enterprise, encouraging small business, cutting taxes, cutting regulations, making people feel proud to be an American and working on American energy. And in every single case, Obama's followed exactly the opposite policy and it, by any objective standard, has failed. We'll link uh, that information up on our website at gillreport.com so folks can see it, because that 3 million job figure, even bigger when you look at a, a smaller population, so it's an even bigger percentage, a, 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 an amazing figure, and uh, we'll say that in a moment. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, the big debate last night, Newt Gingrich signed. Of course he signed. What would he expect? But uh, is it enough to, to break what the media has made a man-on-man race? Romney Perry. How does Newt elbow his way into the mix? We'll talk with him in just a moment. This is The Steve Gill Show.